out all this Thanksgiving food. I've got, got leftover turkey. I got some leftover turkey fat. Given that this year I've sort of become the pasta guy, I thought to myself, what can I do with these two things to make like a Thanksgiving leftover pasta? And maybe this is something I'll do every year in this final episode before Thanksgiving is to do like a, a leftover rendition for pasta. I have a bunch of ideas for the next few years. So today we're gonna get started to see if we can carbonara turkey. It's a perfect example of why I teach these traditional techniques because once we know how it's done properly, then we can play around and use our creativity with it and just swap ingredients with the technique. Flavoring component in carbonara is pancetta and you basically render out the pancetta fat and crisp up the pancetta and then use that to emulsify the sauce. I thought, why can't you do that with turkey? Maybe it's not as unctuous as a piece of guanciale, but this dark meat is really nice and pull apart. It's moist. There's skin here. Maybe we could get that skin crisp. I'm just today. I'm just gonna play around. I'm gonna make turkey carbonara with leftover Thanksgiving ingredients. Is it gonna be good? Probably. Let's see how it goes. First, I have this piece of skin here. I definitely want to crisp that up. So I'm gonna put it in a, on a sheet tray. Trim this guy a little bit. Double sheet tray, I'm gonna keep it flat. Throw it in a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes until it gets crisp while we cook everything else. So I've got my pecorino cheese here and the, and the difference is last time we made a carbonara recipe, we used guanciale, not guanciale, we used pancetta because it's easier to find here. And guanciale, pancetta, both very salty meats. So what we did with the cheese is instead of using all pecorino romano, which is traditional, you know, we cut it 50-50 with pecorino and parmesan. Parmesan makes it a little less salty. Today, since we're just using turkey and turkey fat, I think we can go full on pecorino. It needs that salt a little bit. So I've got this here and I've got it grated like dust. If, you, if your pastas ever clump up for cacio pepe or anything like that, it's probably because you have like lumps in your cheese. It's moist, it clumps up, and when you put it into the pan, it's likely gonna clump up in the pan. So I just run this through, you know, one of these guys. It just sort of separates the big chunks from the fine chunks. Your pasta should come out real smooth. Got my black pepper. I've got some good starchy grained pasta. You want to be able to see that starch grain. And then I got my turkey fat. I'm just going to heat this up and warm up some chopped up turkey in this. And then we're going to just make it the same way we did and just treat this like pancetta. Now I've got my thigh meat. I just want to pull it, get a little bit of this wing meat. Then we could throw a little bit of the white meat in there too. I need three egg yolks. I should have made that in a bigger bowl. This is the bowl that's going to sit on my double boiler like we did last time. We're gonna use the same method as we made our carbonara last video. I've got my cheese, my egg, and my pepper in a big bowl going on top of water that's not boiling, just under the boil around 90 degrees Celsius, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's gonna be enough to hydrate and cook the pasta. And it's also gonna be enough to make sure we can temper these eggs and it pasteurizes them on some level. So it makes it safe for, say, a pregnant woman to eat. So now I have this. Crumble this on top. So now we've got everything. We've got our, our fat that we're going to cook and reheat our turkey in. We've got a carbonara egg cheese mixture and we've got our pasta. Again, I'm cooking it in a little less pasta water to get more starch out of the pasta. Cooking it at under the boil. We're gonna whisk this over the double boiler, maybe like 30 seconds on the double boiler, 30 seconds off the double boiler, just to get this up to a temperature where it's it's safe to eat now. It's you're not gonna get hurt, but like for those who are concerned about like this raw egg and all that kind of stuff, this pasteurizes it in a way that makes it a little safer to eat and a little creamier, I think. So we're just gonna do that until we get a nice thick mixture. You can see it loosen up and then thicken. And then we can just set that aside, finish the pasta cooking, and then put everything together just like we did carbonara. Let's follow along.
Chop up that turkey again. Come on. That's Thanksgiving. Wow. This is money in the bank, guys. That's my new favorite way to utilize leftover turkey. It works so well and it creates a lighter version of carbonara. I would imagine this could work with chicken if you were to render out enough of its fat. You know, we cook a big turkey, so a lot of fat renders out but there isn't a ton of fat on the bird. So, you know, it's not practical all the time, but I think after Thanksgiving, you usually have a ton of fat. This is something real practical to do. I'm not yanking your chain here. It is legit delicious. Guys, this is why I really teach you technique. Once you know a real technique, a recipe doesn't matter. Oh, forget about it. I'm just like sort of amazed at how well that came out. I might like it better than guanciale. It's less salty, it's less intense, it's less rich. My friends in Italy, they know I respect the culture, so I mean no disrespect. Huge giveaway, if you guys, if you guys haven't seen offering to those who purchase my plan of attack and to those who are patrons, and if I can ever get this YouTube membership button up and running, uh, a member on YouTube. All those people automatically entered to win a huge giveaway with like literally everything I cook with. Pots, set of pots, knives, cutting boards thermometers, food mills, all my stuff. One of you guys is gonna get it. Otherwise, Thanksgiving is on Thursday. I obviously won't be making a video. We'll all be with our families. Hopefully not talking politics, not at each other's throats. Just happy, slowing down towards the end of the year, cooking some good food. So I hope you all have the best holiday. Spend it with friends and family, and just cook all my recipes. They will ensure you have a great holiday. Thank you all. Happy Thanksgiving, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.